Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for Packers News, joined by Jim Ozarski and Tom Silverstein. It is Wednesday before the Packers take on the Bears in Chicago. We got a couple of injury updates. So Byron Bell was placed on IR. Brian Balaga did not practice today. Tom, how are the Packers going to block against one of the top defenses in the NFL? Maybe with their fingers crossed? I don't know. But, uh, you know, really, Justin McCray was the starter when the season began. And he had a really rough day against Akeem Hicks. And he knows it. And now it's, you know, 14 weeks or however many weeks later, and he's got a chance to kind of redeem himself. And he's a good run blocker, and if that's what their plan is, then, then he can help them. Jason Spriggs has got a monumental task to block Khalil Mack, and they're going to have to give him help. But, you know, that's, that's the NFL, and you better figure out a way to get it done and uh, protect your quarterback. Now, kind of a theme this this uh, season, we've seen Brian Gutekunst bring up uh, some guys to the roster, so, mm -hmm. some signing some guys during the season, including right. Nico Siragusa, who joined the team today, Ibrahim Campbell, just a few right. weeks ago. What what do you make of that trend this yeah, year? Yeah, it, it's interesting because you know at the start of the year. I think that people wondered how would he manage a roster differently from Ted Thompson. I think at this point it's safe to say we have an idea, and it's very different. Actually, the word aggressive has been used uh, by those who have watched him um, add players off the street, whether it be Eddie Pleasant claiming guys like Ibrahim Campbell, raiding other practice squads for players and bringing them up to the 53, making waiver claims. Um, you know, the, the idea has always been, at least what Brian told us, at PackersNews.com is trying to find guys who can help immediately that week, either on the 46 or the 53, and then also that little look to the future of, you know, maybe this player can turn into a guy for us in week three or four next year. Maybe not stars, but broadening the talent base. And he's not afraid to sort of jettison his own guys or guys who have been on the Packers practice squad. He's, he's willing to look elsewhere to find the best talent available. So Jim will have a little bit more sort of on that, a little deep dive for you guys on PackersNews.com, of course. Please, we encourage you to check out our content and to stick around with us for the rest of the week. We'll see you guys tomorrow.